Hey guys! So today I'm filming a little video for you um, just to give you some tips and tricks on removing your wraps and also I wanted to show you a little trick on how I keep my nails and my nail beds healthy. Um, yeah, so I'm going to start with removing my wraps because obviously I've still got them on and I want to take them off. So I'm going to show you two different techniques. One being um, just the regular with the regular removal method, I guess, with um, nail polish remover. And then the other one I'm going to show you is with um, coconut oil. So I'm just going to go through everything that I've got laid out for you at the moment. So I've got my mini heater. Um, I've got nail polish remover, just regular old nail polish remover. Doesn't really matter. And I've just poured it into a little, um, little thing, I guess, whatever you want to call that, a little plate. I don't know. <laughs> Um, and I've got some coconut oil as well, which I've just heated in the microwave for about 10 seconds just to soften it up a little bit. And then I have my orange stick and cuticle pusher. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the camera down um, so you can obviously see what I'm doing because that, you know, that helps. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so let's get started. Let's move it down. So I'm going to turn my heater on. Now, what you want to do is um, heat your wraps for a little, maybe like five seconds or something, just so it kind of like softens the wrap up. And then I'm just going to get my, um, can you see that? My cuticle, sorry, my orange stick and just kind of break the seal of the wrap. Um, and I'm just going to go and do that on all of my nails just so that they're done. And then I don't have to keep going back and forth, back and forth with the heater. So then I can turn it off so it's not sitting there on. Okay, last one. Right. Okay, now I'm going to turn that off. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my um, cuticle pusher and just dab the end of it into the nail polish remover. And then what I'm going to do with my cuticle pusher is get under that bit um, that I just broke the seal with the orange stick and just wiggle it back and forth and then it just pops off. How easy is that, guys? Super easy. <laughs> Oh dear, that was really bad. So I'll show you again on this one. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Pop, off it goes. So easy. Now, when you're removing them, you do not want to rip it off because that will potentially rip off a little bit of skin, not skin, nail. Um, and it, it basically just damages your nails. So this is like the safe way to do it. See how easy that is, guys? So easy. So that's like three wraps off in like five seconds. Now I'm going to show you um, the coconut oil method. It's pretty much the same as the um, nail, polish, nail polish remover, um, but it's just with coconut oil. So you just, like I said, I, I put it in the microwave for a couple of seconds just to soften up. So then you just want to get, um, I'm going to use my orange stick for this one. Get the coconut oil on the orange stick. And then again, I'll be honest with you, I haven't done this method a lot. Um, just because, you know, nail posture remover is super easy. But basically you just want to get the coconut oil under there and just do the same thing. Just keep wiping it, rubbing it under there. See, this one's a little bit harder to get off. This is why I use the nail push remover method. It comes off, it just takes a little bit longer. Um, and obviously, like, the coconut oil will nourish your nails as well while you're taking it off. But, yeah, there you go. Like, it still comes off, but now you've got all this coconut oil everywhere. So yeah, like I said, I I tend to use just the nail polish remover method more because it's 
it's easier and I always have nail polish remover on me. And I don't really want to waste my co my cooking oil, coconut oil, on my nails. Because I use coconut oil with everything. But anyway, just another method to show you guys. And this one's being stubborn and doesn't want to come off, so I'm going to get some more coconut oil. Oops. And just jiggle, jiggle. And off it comes eventually. Come on. <laughs> there we go. So that's just popped off now. Easy. And then what I um, like to do once I've got them all off is just get my um, nail polish remover just with a cotton. Oh, no. Oh, no. It always gets jammed, this thing. It's so annoying. It just gets like stuck in the tube. Oh, annoying. Take two. No. No. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. This idea was good to start with. I'm just gonna like jiggle it around. These little containers are so nifty, but it always gets jammed. Okay, it's coming. Okay, there we go. Got it. It always gets jammed in there. Um, yep, yeah, so once I've taken my wraps off, I just like to go in with the, with the wipe and just make sure that all of it is off. Um, obviously, like, because they are adhesive wraps, you are going to have a little bit of glue, I guess. Um still on your nail like a little bit of residue on your nail once you take them off um and obviously going in with the co with the coconut with the cotton wipe with um nail polish remover just helps to clean them up a little bit and that is all all off and pretty now, I'm going to show you, um, I'm not going to show you how I do the other hand because it's the same really, but what I will show you is my little trick that I do um, that helps basically just to keep my nails looking like this, nice and healthy I guess you want to say. Um, basically, if you're not looking after your nails while your wraps are on, when you take them off, there's a chance that they could be like really dry and flaky. So I just find that this, this um, God, I can't speak today. This method um, or this little technique, I guess, I don't really want to, I don't really know what you want to call it. A ritual? I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> um, I, so I do it every night before I go to bed and I've probably done it for the past month or two months. And yeah, honestly, like my nails are just so healthy now from it. Um, so basically all it is is rubbing um, cuticle oil into your cuticles and then moisturizing your hands. So obviously you can use um, cuticle oil in a bottle. I find that cuticle oil in a pen is so much easier because it's so, you know, you just wipe it on. Whereas the bottle, you know, you're dipping, dip out. It's annoying. And then I just go in with our Nourish um, hand cream, which is the best. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how, obviously, you know, just, you know how to work a pen, just pump it up, whatever. And then all you need to do is just go around, is that even coming out yet? <laughs> um, go around your cuticles with the cuticle oil and you may need to like pump the pen a couple times while you're doing it just gonna go back and put it on those ones um and then so just rub it into your nails or you so rub it into your cuticles and then out towards your nails so i just yeah <laughs> i just do this pretty much pretty much yeah yeah and then i can do the other hand if you like so obviously you can do this with jams or without jams. It doesn't really bother them. 
as long as you've um, applied your wraps correctly, sealed them, you know, their watertight bond, the oil is not gonna not gonna do much damage to them. And then I go in with the nourish, so I just get a little bit on the back of my hand, tiniest amount. You don't need a lot. A little goes a long way with this. And then what I do is I just um, pick it up with my hand, my finger, and I just dab a little bit on each of my um, cuticles. You probably didn't even see that, but I've just dabbed a little bit on each of my cuticles. And then again, like I did with the cuticle oil, I just rub it into my cuticles and then out on my nails. So that I'm really getting in there and nourishing the skin and nourishing the cuticles so that my new nails growing out are perfect. I apologize for this lighting, by the way. It's like quarter to eight while I'm filming this at night. And there's two settings on my light. And the first one was really bright. Like I look like a ghost and my skin was so shiny. And this one kind of looks a little bit darker. But I still look shiny. Look at it. Ooh, it's gross. Anyway, so I've done that. I've um, massaged it into my cuticles. And then obviously you just go in and do the rest on your hands. And that is all. And like I said, every night, look how perfect my nails are. Yes. Um, also, so in addition to the Nourish, I have the um, Indulgence Hand Care Set, which comes in this cute little box. And obviously when you open it up, like the Nourish sits in here. And then you've got the Cleanser Buff and quench these are like my favorite products honestly like oh amazing the buff is just like a little exfoliant for your hands a little sugar scrub um i'm not gonna so yeah you just like put it i actually can't put it on because it's gone really hard in there um but yeah so just put it on a little bit of water, I massage it into your hands and it just exfoliates all, all away the dead skin. Um, that's buff. That's awesome. And then there's the cleanse, oh, which is just like a daily um, hand wash, I guess. Um, I haven't used this one yet, as you can see, because it's still popped in. Um, but I'm assuming it's awesome like everything else. <laughs> So yeah, just pump a little bit into your hand and wash like you would normally wash your hands. And then quench is, um, I think it's just like a balm. Yeah, it's a hydrating balm. Now I can't open it because my hands are all oily. From the coconut oil. Ah! Anyway, you get the point. Quench, hydrating balm. So again, you, I just... Um, usually just rub it into my cuticles or any like dry bits that I have on my hands. Um, and then you, you can just keep that on. You don't have to wash it off or anything. But that is it. The little indulgence hand care set. I highly recommend it. It's like my little baby. It's so pretty. I love it. And the Nourish hand cream smells amazing. It's like lollies. And by the way, if you want the hand cream, you don't have to get the actual, you know, the full set. You can just buy the hand cream on its own, which is awesome. Um, yeah, so that was pretty much all I wanted to show you guys. I'm going to go away um, and do my other hand now. Take these wraps off my other hand because I want to put on a new set and make them look pretty. Um, awesome. So I hope that guys, I hope that guys, what? <laughs> I hope that helped you out um, with some different methods on how to remove your wraps. Again, I prefer the um, nail polish remover to the coconut oil. As you saw, it is a little bit harder to get them off with the coconut oil, but the benefits of using the coconut oil is that it is like nourishing your nail, I guess, while you're taking it off. Um, but yeah, that's just my preference is I prefer the nail polish remover because it's easier and I always have it lying around and yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to stop talking now. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching guys um, and stay tuned for more videos. Bye.